Jack, hello. Um, could I just start, uh, given that this is the day after the Olympics are finished, by just uh, asking you about your Olympic experience and what you made of it all? Well, it's, I think it was fantastic, fantastic all round for everyone involved. Um, you know, very proud and feel very privileged that I was given the chance to be able to perform and you know be part of something bigger than just football. Um, for once, you know, with with, with football, you know, you, you don't usually mix with with other athletes. So you know, it was it was it was a very good experience to to see how all the other sports do it as well as um, you know, and, and just get a, a feel for the Olympics. And it was you know something I won't forget. Really. I enjoyed every minute of it. It was it was a bit different and uh, from your normal league games and things like that. But uh, on a personal level, it was good for me as well, including the friendlies. I managed to play six games and uh, feel confident and fit from it. So it's a shame we didn't get a medal, but the all-round experience was yeah, I enjoyed it. And how much better a player do you feel you are now for your ex your summer experience at both of those competitions? I think, as, especially as a goalkeeper, you know, experience is, is a massive thing. Um, you know, there's no, there's no better practice than playing games, um, which thankfully I managed to do at the Olympics. But, you know, being able to see how the likes of, of Joe and, and Rob Green work and train, um, as, well as, where the other, as well as the other lads in the squad, it was, it was just as even as, as beneficial as the Olympics, you know, to see how it's done. And I can't, I can't explain how important that's been. And, and you know, for confidence-wise, and and just to see where I am in my own my own ability, and, and to see where I want to be. So I can't I can't fault anything that's happened, and I've I've truly enjoyed every minute of it. And how much of a, a boost was it to be named in this squad? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I was in, in a similar position this time last year. Um, obviously, I'm hoping to train well and hopefully win my first cap. But it's, it's always an honour to get called up for your country, and uh, yeah, I was delighted. You know, it's what dreams are made of, isn't it? I mean, unfortunately, it's come, or hopefully will come, you know, but it's due to an injury, which is unfortunate for Joe. But if I get the chance, it would be, as I said, a dream come true. And, you know, it's something that I, you know, I can't stop thinking about. And I'd, I'd love the chance to be able to perform on that stage on Wednesday night. I'm lucky enough to train with uh, Caras, Scalzi, Giggs, players like this who can all, all pass the experience down. And I've been in a couple of squads with Frank. And, uh, and yeah, these, these are good, all good midfielders that, that the younger players can learn from and uh, gain experience from. So, um, But like you said, yeah, there's a lot of young players. A few of us know each other from the 21s and Team GB and things like that. So yeah, it won't take as long to gel. There's a fantastic youth coming through, um, not just goalkeepers. There's, there's a load of young English players that are coming through, you know, fighting for their chances. So, you know, I think everyone should be excited about what England's bringing. And, and hopefully the young players, you know, get opportunities, and and hopefully that happens soon. Italy have gone the same route. They they've picked, I think, something like nine uncapped players in their squad. So I mean, this really could be a, a game with the sort of future very much in mind for both sides. Yeah, definitely. I think it'll have a a lot of players trying to try to prove, prove points in Wednesday's game. Um, will not be a tough game, but hopefully we can get a positive result and uh, and take things into the season.